one of the things that we've noticed is that uh, our understanding of uh, the disease itself, the virus, has, has grown over a period of time. Uh, when it all started happening, everyone thought this was just a respiratory tract uh, infection, upper respiratory tract infection initially. Uh, and over a period of time, uh, there has actually been literature that suggests that uh, COVID could actually be closer to an autoimmune disorder given the kind of uh, reactions that it causes in the human body uh, than anything else. Uh, do you, what is, how, well, do you think we understand this disease? Do we know it well enough now? Well, <clears throat> it's a very good question. The, the short answer is we know it much better than we did eight months ago. And uh, we understand that it is a far more complex disease than we, uh, than we had initially thought. Uh, but unfortunately, there's still a lot we don't understand about this disease. So what, one of the things that people should understand about COVID is, and I really can't think of any virus that has such a broad range of effects from 20, 30 percent of people having no symptoms at all ever to many people having very mild symptoms to some people getting very sick, to lots of people, to some people dying. Like there just aren't that many conditions that have this broad range of impacts. So clearly something, ha it has something to do with people's host immunity. It has uh, something to do with a whole a host of other factors, maybe how much virus uh, you were infected with. Um, but the bottom line is we are still sorting all this out. So there's a lot in this. So again, actually, let me make two more quick points. One is, the way I think about this disease, and, and you really heard this uh, uh, from Dr. Galeria, is that there are two phases of the disease. There's the viremic phase, and then there's the immunologic phase. In the early phase, um, it, it acts and functions much more like a normal virus. In the second half, there's this very profound immunologic response that almost makes it look like an autoimmune disease uh, that is triggering. It triggers that in some people, but not others. Uh, we've got to sort all of that stuff out. I would say we've made progress, but there's a lot that we don't know about this disease.